This video explains how to calculate the sum of lists and data frame columns in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will explain how to calculate the sum of a list object. And for this, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in the first line of code. So after running this line of code, a new list called my list is created. And if we print this list below the code, you can see that our list contains different numbers. Now, if we want to calculate the sum of this list, we have to import the numpy package, as you can see in the next line of code. And then we can use the sum function of the numpy package to calculate the sum of our list. So as you can see, the sum of our list object is 39. Now we can also calculate the sum of data frame columns in a pandas data frame. And for this, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the next code box. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in the fifth code box. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And this data frame contains 12 rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2 and group. And the first two columns, x1 and x2, are numbers. And the third column, group, is a group indicator. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the sum of only one column of this data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the next line. So in this line of code, I'm extracting the first column, x1, from our data frame. And then I'm using the sum function to calculate the sum of this specific column. So as you can see, the sum of the column x1 is 41. We can also apply the sum function to calculate the sum of all columns in our data frame. So as you can see in the seventh code box, we are applying the sum function to the entire data frame. And then you can see that the sum of the first column is 41. We already know that from the previous example. However, you can also see that the sum of the second column x2 is equal to 186. And you can also see that the sum function has combined all the elements of the group column into a character string. Now, we can also calculate the sum by row, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying within the sum function that I want to calculate the sum by row using the axis attribute with the value 1. And then I'm also specifying the numeric only argument to be equal to true to tell Python that I want to calculate the sum only of numeric columns. So as you can see below this code, we have returned an output that shows the sum for each row in our data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.